Hello guys, Devjyoti here from mybasyoutube.com and today's video I am going to tell you how to make a transparent number on bootstrap carousel ok as you can see here I take the bootstrap number and that's the bootstrap car uh, carousel I actually used to overlap them ok you can see this carousel also working perfectly and this number is totally transparent ok so let's start so i here opened my adobe dream viewer and i take a standard bootstrap 3 document okay and i already linked up the bootstrap.css and bootstrap.js file along with jquery file now i have to uh, write the code for bootstrap 3 navbar okay you can take the code from bootstrap 3 official website you have to open that website okay and after that you have to come to component from component down side you can see there see this navbar from navbar after clicking there you have to take all the code okay as it is else if you use adobe dream for cc i mean 2015 or 2007 any version uh, then you can go here insert from their bootstrap component and navbar in the basic navbar okay yeah see it's come check the live preview see it's come perfectly so after that i have to add the carousel okay so come down after number put the cursor here okay for the carousel you can find the code here also i think it will be in jquery portion javascript from the javascript yeah there is a carousel okay you can copy the whole the code as it is here else in the dream viewer also you can go to insert and the bootstrap component bootstrap component from there you have to find carousel yeah here is the carousel just click it save it and check it once in the live preview how it looks like yeah the some um, fine carousel is come now now I'm going to change the images okay because it's not looking good so here I have some sample images also okay go to the image session okay just it is that yeah now browse uh, I have now yeah, images will be IMG folder I think yeah there is the images okay and it and check in the real browser preview yeah you can see why it's not coming first one is coming in here now so second one should also should come refresh it once yeah let's come now now i have to write the css code for that so for that I'm going to add some custom style set here. Okay. So from there I have to edit some basic properties and before that uh, I'm going to add some custom class in the navbar like my nav or something.
for everything um, uh, to normalize that I mean by giving that margin 0 and part padding 0 margin 0 and padding also 0 after that border radius also will be zero okay after that again taking the minor because dot my will be total transparent okay so there's a color picker here choose the rzba total is zero everything will be zero zero okay yeah that's the exact value the transparent and border color also will be the same because sometimes this background none and border none it's not work actually so better to write this also like border color So that also will be the same thing as it is okay and down here and okay you have to get the semicolon after that my
after that for anchor tag sorry my my name and after that number name color will be the little bit I'm taking little different color has 3962 the background color I am giving blue and the original color will be same means ECF0 F1 again I missed has I think yeah. yeah it's open so which one is open for the open tag or for the open class everything will be almost same for this active will be not there and it will be open
after open tag i have to change the toggle color once okay so here the class will be dot mine nav after that number nav number nav okay after that number toggle So yeah, till that over, and after that, I have to uh, make the same thing again for hover and focus. Okay, so copy that again. background color uh, what to do giving the same on the whole one because it will alternate so giving the same color only control C
equal to has e c f zero f one. Okay. Now after that number link on hover means copy that. color uh, what to do giving the same on the hover because it will alternate so giving the same color only control C
so amplitude has E C have zero F one. After that, drop down menu. After that, ALI, and after that, anchor tag, and for that. Has after it has E C F zero F one okay and after that the same thing will be on hover and focus so copy down so on hover and comma paste it and on focus so after focus and the color will be E C sorry I have to give has mm, E C My nab dot nab bar nab after that dot open so after that dot um, dot drop down menu
okay so after that I'm giving some error element so yeah till now that media query get over let's check it till media query yeah till now that media query over after that i'm going to style it for the carousel one okay Yeah, here yeah. like my carousel or something. Awesome and some icon here save it and check it once in the uh, browser so yeah see it's uh, coming nicely okay and the slider also working very well okay uh, i think better to give some top margin so it will look more good so increase it i think it will work top 30 pixel and save it so after that let's see it how it's look like uh see in the yeah it's looking very good uh, okay so that's it and now i'm doing the thumbnails one like what i see in my opening project So source code and after that give some space and here I'm going to add the thumbnails so I have to go here insert bootstrap component and from the bootstrap component you have to go bootstrap component and here number responsive image you have to find the thumbnail where it is so yeah the thumbnail is there so after that you have to copy this call md4 one uh, once and after that paste it three times sorry two times already one is there save it and yeah it's working now um better to keep it in a container so it will look more good so 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 okay so take outside a container div class will be container okay so that uh, cut and paste here okay and after that uh, just change the thumbnail images uh, give some thumbnail images okay so browse it in the images i think yeah the thumbnail is there one another one is this one so there i am going to add that and here will be the images another one i have to browse and select that okay and after that here i am going to add the another one uh, and it will be the same thing okay browse and this one save it and let's check how it look like oh yeah it come if you want some more content to add you can add this portion i'm showing how to do that just here 
you can add some more random text okay like you add multi activate the multi carousel there okay so it is that take some load and make some concept okay so just copy all the thing control x and cut it and paste it here paste it here and paste it here save it and check it in yeah it's come perfectly okay thank you for seeing this video if you have any doubt regarding this project you can ask me in the comment section and please like and share this video and if you want to get the latest update please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon thank you